1400 years ago, Muhammad was trapped in a valley. He had defended himself successfully. The army on the outside of the valley was running out of food and water. Within the valley was a village. The village was populated by the Benakarazi. They had been approached to attack Muhammad from the back, to outflank him. And they were arguing about doing this, but they were in a pact with Muhammad. So you can just imagine the argument going on within the village. Should we do it? Should we not do it? The women screaming, oh no, don't, oh no, don't. The children crying at the father's feet. The warriors saying, come on, let's go fucking kill the bastard. The, no, 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 they wouldn't go. No, we'll be all right, we'll be all right. We'll sit back and we'll, and we'll, we'll be all right tomorrow, honest. Come on, no, no need to do it. So they didn't attack Muhammad. They didn't attack Islam. They hoped they would be all right. They were slaughtered. A matter of months later, Muhammad entered Mecca at the head of a 10,000 strong army. Not on the back of a donkey with palm leaves being spread, but as an invading, conquering, slaughtering master. All the critics of Muhammad and the apostates within Mecca were slaughtered. Now, the British spent hundreds of years during the time of the Raj and the Empire spreading Magna Carta and basically giving the globe democracy. Now, I don't think we actually meant to do that when we set out there, but that's what we tried to do when we left. And the fucking, all empires make mistakes, all empires do wrong things. But none are as bad as the Ottoman or the Islamic Empire. The culture of slaughter and murder is remorseless. So, we have got a choice. We can sit squabbling in front of our tellers, behind the computers, and falling out over poxy little differences between ourselves. Oh, you were in my gang. You were going to speak at my demo. I hate you now. Well, uniting the right is not going to work because we're not racists. We're not Jew haters. We're not Nazis. And that's our weakness, I suppose. And our strength. Because 95% of this country is not communist and it's not Nazi it's moderate but moderates sit at home and hope it's going to be okay what we have to do is convince people that we are the moderates the casuals I know you enjoy a fight but don't do it at an EDL demo be prepared but don't actually come for a fight. Because you just go to jail, guys. The amount of cameras that are on this. So, turn up. Bring your women. Bring your children. Bring your mothers. Bring your brothers. Bring your Asian. Your West African. Your coloured friends. Hinduism, Sikhism, Buddhism. Shintoism, Christianity has all felt the bloody slaughter of Muhammad's sword and it's come to the UK, it has come to Europe. We have got four years till an election. It's going to be war before then people. Let's wake as many up as we can. Coventry on the 21st of uh, May peaceful demonstration sober don't drink do not want to cause trouble and we will see where we go from there but we must we must continue 
this fight. Humanity demands we continue this fight. Beheading slavery. No, I won't tolerate it, and I'm sure you won't. Let's try people, let's keep trying.